Bill O'Reilly here. Please watch this highlight from the No Spin News. To watch the full episode on demand, simply visit BillOReilly.com and become a subscriber today. Michael Sussman, 57 years old, charged with lying to the FBI about the Hillary Clinton campaign's plan, secret plot to link the candidate, then candidate Donald Trump, with a Russian bank. All right. So Sussman was acquitted today. Jury said he did not lie to the FBI. And I got Brett Tomlin hanging in. But I just want to tell you what Donald Trump said before we get to Brett. So I'm a person who believes in the jury system in America. Donald Trump believes a fix was in because it was a D.C. jury. As I mentioned, I just talked with him. He said there was no way that uh, this was ever going to be a conviction because his name, Donald Trump's name, was behind the charge. So if it had been anybody else, President Trump believes there would have been a conviction because the evidence was there, according to Donald Trump. Okay, now let's bring in my um, probably the best guy, most honest guy about all this stuff, former U.S. attorney for Utah, Brett Tallman. So you've been watching this case. Uh, and last time we talked, we did talk about the jury in the D.C. pool having to be liberal. It's uh, very probably the most liberal area in the country. So you weren't surprised that Sussman was acquitted, correct? No, I was not surprised at the acquittal. And in fact, you know, very few people are talking about the, this one important factor, and that is, <clears throat> you know, it's two parties that select a jury. It's the judge that has an impact on who can sit on a jury, and it's the parties themselves, the government and the defense lawyers who have challenges. One thing that's not talked about is the fact that this judge refused to see bias, to find bias in four of the jurors who were Democrat campaign contributors, three of whom to Hillary Clinton, one of whom whose daughter was on the same sports team. Bill, in any other jury across this country, a judge that's that's not political is going to eliminate those for bias sure. immediately. Sure, he refused activists. to do it in this case. Yep. OK, so that gives Durham the right to appeal. And do you believe he will? No, once the jury has been impaneled, um, the government's uh, appeal rights are very, very limited and they cannot appeal the co consistency of the jury. And so his hands are really tied at this point. I didn't know and that. He, he basically has to suffer the loss and move on. OK, now I'm going to play devil's advocate here. So you have to, if you're a jury member, um, convict someone when there's evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. That's how simple it is. Evidence beyond a reasonable doubt leads to a conviction. If that's not there, you have to acquit, whether you like them, you don't like them, whatever. In this case, Sussman spoke to FBI counsel James Baker. Nobody knows who he is. I, do we have his picture? We'll put a picture up there. Nobody knows who he is. But this was the guy who, uh, we don't even have his picture, Brett. <laughs> Maybe we'll get it later. Uh, but this was the centerpiece of the case. And, and he was the FBI counsel. And Sussman went and said, hey, look, I'm not operating out of any malice. I'm a, a citizen who's worried about the country. And that's why I'm bringing you this bogus stuff about Trump. He didn't say bogus, but it was. Now, Baker had said different things when he testified in front of Congress than he said at the trial. Did he not? That's correct. That's right. And and you hit on a very important point. He was under oath for both. And so Durham really does have to take a look at his testimony as well as Mr. Mook's testimony, where they seem to be inconsistent from prior instances of, of uh, being under oath and or being investigated and interviewed. Inflation now at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates skyrocketing. A recession may loom. Our retirement accounts are in real danger. If you want to protect your future, do what I did. Call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. All it takes to get started is a short phone call and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They are the highest rated firm in the country 
A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. Plus, tell them O'Reilly sent you, and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. So don't wait. Please call now, 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.